Well, although this earlier than expected warm spell is great for area spring sports, there's one phrase that we all unfortunately have to get used to, weather permitting. And it looked like we would have a full slate of washouts on our hands at one point today, but over in Liberty between spurts of rain, the Eagles played host to a pair of games on the diamond. We start with softball, Payson Seymour and the Eagles going at it, scoreless tie in a pitcher's duel. Top five, that's McKenzie Bike in the circle, that spring-loaded delivery gets the strikeout and keeps the game scoreless late. And the other half of this pitcher's duel was Payson Seymour's Cheyenne Bowman here facing a two on one out situation bottom fifth she's going to get that strikeout and then the defense helps her out gets this grand out ground out excuse me to strand that runner at third base keep this game scoreless so liberty trying to get something going late that's a single rolled through by shelby wellman she gets aboard first base but the eagles trying to score that late run maybe win it in a walk off bottom six but the defense holds sarah arnold takes a good hack but jackie ketters is there to handle the line out and this game was scoreless through regulation through six innings payson would actually score on a bunt plus a fielding error to bring home Lacey Hagerbomber, put them in front in the top of the eighth, but Liberty battles back. This one goes all the way to the eighth, ninth, and tenth inning where Liberty wins it three to two in ten innings. So a very good finish up there after a very good defensive start. Let's take you to 50 feet away, Liberty and Bluffs West Central Baseball. Just across the way, bottom third, one out, a runner on second for the pitcher Lane Hansel. He's going to take this Luke Nash pitch the other way to single in Liberty's only run of the day. At that point, Bluffs West Central led the game 4-1, to one, but Luke Nash, besides that run, was very, very good in this one. Two on, two out there for Liberty trying to get back in the game, but Nash slams the door shut, keeps the game a 5-1 score there. They would tack on two more as West Central gets the win in Liberty 7-1. to one. And we were hoping to have QHS tennis for you from this afternoon against Columbia Rockbridge. They were at home, their first home meet of the season, but... Again, as we mentioned, that weather kind of playing tricks on everybody today. Would it rain? Would it not? So the two teams agreed to postpone that match until, I believe, until after next week. But a look at the local tennis schedule coming up. QHS and QND boys playing on Tuesday at Reservoir Park. And Hannibal's in town to face QHS on Wednesday. Other baseball scores to give you. First off in Illinois, Triopia gets a two-hit effort from Jansen Yale. Three RBIs as they beat New Berlin 6-2. Nothing. Griggsville Perry falls by three to Carrollton despite Dryden Craven's six innings pitched and only two runs allowed. Louisiana falls to Payson 6-5. Good day for Ryan Hildebrand. He finishes two for three with three RBIs and Brown County blanks Western this one. Brady Long gets the pitching win in that game. Let's go to Missouri baseball. It was Palmyra over Mark Twain as they go 10 nothing on that one. Leighton Wilson, two for three with three RBIs in that game. And one rain out we did have, or perhaps one cancellation due to possible rain coming through the area was Highland and Scotland County. Those two teams had to push that game back. We'll go ahead and bring you IHSA softball. Good win today for QHS over Alton. Mariah Hope gets 10 strikeouts in a seven to three win over the Redbirds and Griggsville Perry wins it over Western seven to five. Rachel Smith goes three for four in her team's win. One more score to give you late score that came in was Beardstown over Lewiston five to three. A soccer score from over at Flynn Stadium today. QHS knocks off Troy Buchanan as Mia McNay and Abby Foster each with a goal in that two nothing win. And we'll go ahead and bring you to other one more uh, college score from the area today. Hannibal LaGrange baseball swept in a doubleheader by William Woods, 5-4 and 7-0. Hannibal LaGrange now 6-15 on the season. A couple of college honors from around the area this uh, today. It was actually three scholar athletes from Culver Stockton Women's Basketball NAIA Scholar Athletes. That awarded to Monica Wilson and Bailey Owen, both seniors, and Lisa Plattner, a junior. So congratulations to them. Also in the GLVC, your player of the week in baseball is QU's Curran Collins. He was 14 of 20 last week, 12 driven home, six doubles and five runs scored. And in the Summit League softball action, one of the hottest teams in the area right now, Western Illinois women, Sammy Marshall, your Summit League player of the week, 11 for her last 22 with nine runs scored. But my favorite stat of hers, 10 stolen bases on 10 attempts. She was not caught once in the last week. And to go along with that, guys, that 10 game hitting streak again, Western really just playing lights out right now. So uh, looking ahead to tomorrow, more baseball, softball, and again, QHS Q&D uh, tennis at Reservoir Park. Again, weather permitting. Weather permitting. <laughs> I hate saying it, but weather permitting, absolutely. Okay, we'll be right back.